and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Braum Midrange. We played this deck, uh, I was just looking at it, played it 13 days ago, and it was surprisingly good. Like, you know, we've we've struggled winning with Braum in Master's Rank. It's just, it's kind of tough, to be honest. Um, like, there's times like where, where Braum can look really, really good, but, you know, just like a, a Will of Ionia, or, you know, like, there's so many ways to kind of break up um, what Braum's trying to do and everything. And... We actually, and you know, usually you play Braum with like the Crimson units and, and everything. Like that's that's where we normally play Braum. But we tried this deck one time, uh, last uh, like I said, thirteen days ago. We went seven and three in in uh, Masters rank with this, and so we're gonna play it play it again. Now that was before the last patch, and the last patch moved Navori Conspirator to from a three two to now a two two. So it's only a two two elusive for two mana. So um, you know, like that's not really hardly any different from Green Glade Duo, and you have to bounce something. So I really thought about playing Green Glade Duo instead. You know, like all we had to do is just lose one toughness and we get this thing, and you don't have to bounce anything. But I decided that I want to go with the Conspirator, because that I think that one toughness is a big deal. There's a whole lot of one damage uh cards around. Um I think so I think that the difference between one and two toughness really is a big deal. And I actually think that the being able to recall an ally. Um, is actually a bonus quite a bit. Whether we're bouncing Omenhawk back to our hand, Shadow Assassin to replay that and draw another card. Um, and then even like these big things, remember bouncing these, like, you know, like Jewel, have like seven mana, like play Jewel Protector, target the, um, target the Conspirator, play the Conspirator, bounce the Jewel Protector back. So the next turn you can play it and target something else. You know, like that in Hearthguard, like, you know, bouncing these things. So I'll, I'll give this, uh, you know, keep this going here with the uh, Conspirator. Um, but yeah, Vile Feast and Static Shock, and um, there's just so much one, you know, uh, Withering Whales everywhere. There's just one damage spells everywhere. Um, so yeah, we have the, the Kinku Lifeblade Avalanche combo. Yep. <laughs> no, but yeah, we're playing Avalanche in here. And I was, I was, like, Avalanche was amazing for us. Like, that was, this card was awesome because like there's so many people going wide and everything like that and we can you know we can set it up with our early cards we don't have to play the early stuff uh really the combo of course is not life blade with avalanche the combo is life blade with jeweled protector that's a great combo and so you know we got three of, of both of those cards that's the real combo um in here uh and then yeah yeah if we get like the hearth guards to make like some of these things bigger um Jewel Protector also with uh, at eight mana. Jewel Protector with Braum, like that's that's pretty sweet. Like uh, having Jewel Protector give Braum plus three plus three immediately, and you don't have to use like other cards to try to pump a Braum up. That can be awesome. But then also like sometimes you know your Omen Hawks and your Hearth Guards can pump up your Brahms and your Life Blades and make life better. All right, this is our deck. It's pretty sweet. Let's give this a try. Let's see if we. Have some success. We're going to go play five games. Um, remember yesterday we switched this over to doing doing five games with each deck. Later on at the end of the stream we got a donation deck. I'll be doing ten games with that deck. So we'll still be playing 25 today. So that's why I'm doing four instead of five decks. So we'll play ten games of our donation deck. Later on. Okay, here we go. Braum midrange. Basically, Braum elusive. I don't, like, Deny, like, they probably, Deny's probably not doing a whole lot. So I think we get rid of that. And then, do we just keep Take Heart? In our opener? Probably not. So let's send these back. Hey, Huska, yes, I did change my Twitch name. Um, maybe six weeks ago or so. I took out the MTG for my Twitch name. I didn't I didn't want to have any I don't want to, I don't want to have Twitch names with games in them. Oh, and I did get see look at that. We got a 3-3 a three, three life blade. I did get um, more cosmetics. Should switch up some cosmetics. My shield is yours. 
Huh, they passed first. I guess seeing if I would... Seeing if I'd play more things into that. Break their spirit and their soul. Bleh. Oh, right, I could have attacked for two with, with that, but I will really that. 2-7 Braum. They can't really kill a 2-7. Braum is on the job. I find them unworthy. I think this avalanche is probably going to be pretty good, but it's not, you know, like, we're not killing these things quite yet. Is it better to get this thing? annoying. Just gonna bounce that. Yeah, I don't have life blade plus refuge protection. Run them through. Uh -huh. So that's nine out of ten for Braum. They cannot strike what they cannot see. You have two more cards in hand than I do. Leveled up, bro. Do I want to take her Brom again? It's like, what's... It's really the point of take harding Braum again. Oh, I guess because because then if we do that, then Braum can kill Sithria. All right, I guess that's a good a good reason to do it. I wanted I kind of like so like the problem like I wanted to take heart this thing like that's what I wanted to do is to take heart the the life blade. That's what I was thinking. The opponent's like, oh man, I'm in trouble. How am I doing dealing with Braum? Does this this poor yeah, that, that poro is just holding a hammer? Oh look at this poro. This one's cute. <laughs> this one looks so angry. <laughs> It's like angry in the eyes, but kind of smiling. Well, 
Well, that's a good draw. Now I, w I wish I would have saved the the take the take heart though. I wish I would have been able to just go avalanche, and then. And then take heart this life blade. Opponents really started to play super slow. Yeah, the reason why I did the take heart on the Braum, it is a little unnecessary, but the Braum was 5 power. And Cythria is 6-6. Six, six. So I was thinking... Uh, obviously I can go... I can go with the Refuge. Um... I'll just save the refuge though, because I don't think deny is gonna be. I don't think deny is gonna have a lot of targets. Save your world. We speak with blades. Yeah. Winter, take you. They have to attack. I mean, they can still kill my life blade. But now they have to attack with one of these things, and then if they attack with these things, I get to block with Braum and get another 3 3. Eat up, friend. You I don't think my opponent's even playing Detain. No. Not very many people play Detain these days. I don't. But I guess I guess detain is kind of like the only thing that gets rid of the Brom. I I don't even think they really have Will of Ionia. Maybe, maybe will. I think there's a better chance they have will than they have detain. And strike. I don't really think they have either. <laughs> Two down. We don't really need to use this thing. That's two kills with Fiora. If only Fiora. I guess I have to worry about judgment, right? Like a, a random judgment kill. That's what I need to. That's what I need to play around now. That's that's really the card that that I could see them randomly having. Sure. We get free three threes all the time. NBD. No, Knots was saying that the take heart was unnecessary on Braum at this point, once Braum was already at plus five, plus five, playing this other take heart. Saying that that felt unnecessary. Alright, we're gonna try to keep this Fiora from killing me. Right, that thing comes, so I don't even get to don't even get to play this. <laughs> Maybe I just don't play around judgment. I don't know, do I play around judgment or not? Playing around judgment would be not attacking with anything else. Basically. Seems silly. We fight as one. If I full send it in and they have judgment, I lose. Think, uh, think, uh, believe me. 
All right, we have determined not to play around judgment. This is my opponent. Which, of course, after I didn't, I didn't reorder after determining not to play around judgment. I. I should have had everything attack and then... No, I mean, they, they still could have barriered. No. Alright, never mind. Never mind what I was going to say. Alright, got an epic WoW card. That WoW card's so epic. All right, good showing for our deck for the first game. Good showing there. Yeah, I mean, I still, I still had a chance of losing by, like, let's say I do play around Judgment and I only attack with like just the nine nine and and then maybe like a five five and a three three or something like that. Um, so like I don't die to Judgment right away. If they just have like you know, a barrier card for Fiora right there, which was, you know, fairly likely. And then they untap, and then they get to attack again, and they get the automatic barrier with Fiora that uh, kills another thing, and that's, like, the third thing. Then all they need is, like, you know, like, like they're getting really close to to winning. And so I actually, I actually felt that I... I felt there actually was some time pressure there because they had the the 9-9 nine, nine and like the auto barriers with Fiora and I had like infinite creatures for them to kill. Um, I'm just gonna send all these back. I'm sending back the two mana three one because it dies too easily. I don't like I don't like one toughness against Ezreal. Omen Hawk's better though. Um, so, and then also like that Fiora Shen list playing playing Judgment. Like, what are, what are the odds of that? Like, I haven't. I don't think I've ever seen that deck play Judgment because they have they have the Bright Seal Protector at the top end. So are they supposed to have like Bright Seal Protector at the top end and Judgment at the top end? Just seems kind of unlikely that they would have judgment also check out the goods on this one you call that sneaky Save me, Luke. um shadow assassin uses my mana better but then I'm I'm what do I just curve shadow assassin into Bjerg into hearth guard and I just never play the summon hawk again yeah, I guess so It's not any punishment for playing Bjerg to start with. They can play Chumpwump and block it just fine. But now that Chumpwump's a 4-3. Yeah, I mean there's not there wasn't any punishment playing that pre or post combat. I like taking seven mana on that. That's that's awesome. So the Hearth Guard didn't get pumped up by the Omen Hawk because it wasn't one of our next cards. So we still have a card somewhere to get pumped up by Omen Hawk. These pumps are definitely going to help us in a longer game against... Uh, against Ez. So two thermogenic beams down. Obviously dealing with this Ezreal is going to be problematic. I 
Or sorry, sorry, Karma. I said Ezreal Karma, sorry. True power requires restraint. That was a plus three, plus three, Braum. Alright, well, I can let this Braum die. And play the plus three, plus three, Braum. That can kill Karma and kill other stuff. And plus, like, this makes them kind of need to block with Karma, right? Or, like, they're gonna need, or if not, they're gonna need spells. Got deny. Do they need our help? Braum would deny back up. William. We will counter William. But Have another four mana, so yeah, they could have their own counter or another William. Uh, let's see. So this is this is them going down to three. So if I take heart, a damaged ally, they die. It sounds like a good play. Reconsider. They didn't block with karma. Their karma's still alive. They can take it with them to the grave. All right, 2-0. Oh. It's a real good popular deck that we just beat there with the Karma, Karma Ez. These cards are expensive. Send them all back. Kind of want to keep one of these five. Like, these fives are great, but, you know, we don't need them until turn five. I I would like to play it, but we'll keep a hearth guard. But it's like if we mulligan and we just get more fives, then it's, you know, then, um, then I'll be like, why to keep it? And so on. <laughs> it's, it's so good to watch Karma lose. Yeah, Karma is, is really taking over. Both Karma and Ezreal, and so just the Karma Ezreal deck is the most popular deck, I think, right now. And then but just, you know, like Ezreal is popular with, with like Draven and everything too. And Karma's a you know, obviously has a lot of different decks. It kinda fits everywhere. Oh, I forgot to change. Um Poro. So they're gonna be playing Poro snacks and stuff like that. Dang, I was hoping they did. I was hoping they didn't block because if we draw Drew Conspirator, I wanted to bounce it again. But I thought, I honestly thought they wouldn't block. I thought I could get a free attack in. Shark. Winter, take you. Swing low. Shark Chariot. Hmm. 
Sebastian order from here. Yuck. 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 Another yuck card. Those are the are things I don't really want to attack into. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make some large creatures. Our next two creatures are gonna get pumped. Up. This is a prankster deck. Who are you pranking? Phantoms? Pranking fan phantoms over here? Oh, dang. What do we... Jewel Protector of the Life Blade, right? I will play my but do we... Do we do that right now, or do we drop Hearthguard first? Who do you got? Callista Hecarim? We, we shall be Slightly annoying. Um, we're going to do this right now. I feel like we're going to be trying to win pretty quickly with these elusives. But we don't need a super long game because we got, we got big elusives. We got big elusives. And my opponent cannot block. These are dangerous lands. I. All right, so yeah, so like these these ephemerals are going to be dying. Callista will transform. So this is going to be 5 damage to me, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm relying on this life blade to if they have removal for the life blade, like a vengeance or something, that could be bad. I wonder if I need to play around ruination. Do I? I don't know. Callista Poros? I like that. That is good. We can bounce. They can, like, do an attack. We can bounce Prankster. I like that. Sweet. Can't deal with the elusives. Victory. Well, we're on a roll. I won't change. You know, I thought about changing cosmetics there, but we won't change. Because we are on a roll. Let's keep this going. Let's try to go undefeated with Braum in our five games. We'll try.
All right, Karma Ez again. Our our last hand that we had against Karma Ez was pretty perfect. Our hand was very good. I'm not sure if we'll have that kind of good hand again. But starts with Omen Hawk. Oh, those are bad. I would rather have the three mulligan away than these three. That's much worse. Especially these harsh winds are harsh winds is our worst card. We have two of them in the deck. Worst card in this matchup. And we have two of them in the deck. And just drawing both of them off off the mulligan is super unlucky. Hey Zalorian. Uh yeah, we're gonna play some cat attack here in a little bit. If you want that deck. See the it is. Here. Safeguard our homes. You're welcome. No problem. Boom, boom. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Nah, we really don't need to see all of it, do we? See a little bit. Is it the mustache? Who knows? Watch and learn. Oh, I learned you're a jerk. Hitting me like that. Just gave them a good mystic shot target with that omen hawk. Do you think it's doubtful that we're winning this game? Not only was my like my hand was a lot worse than the last time we played this, their hand was a lot better. If you get to kill Braum with a Get Excited, they already could kill Braum with a Thermogenic Beam. But getting Ezreal out of here, worth it. No. Oh, all right, no Mystic Shot. Cool. So, you know, playing this to be able to block as, even though, you know, playing Bjerg was our better offensive uh, option. All right, three out of eight. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. That's good. I shouldn't go straight to attack here, should I? Kind of feel like I should play Babbling Bjerg first. I should have played Bjerg first, but they didn't have any spells. I got ways to find in mushroom. Okay, so yeah, we would have just trade, traded Bjerg and Chumpawump.
So do we want to bounce Bjerg back to our hand? I feel like we could do that. Play the Conspirator. <clears throat> Instead. We still have two things that can block us. And of course the Braum can block the the four three. I don't know, we're still fighting even though we had a lot worse hand, but we're not we're not out of the game right now. They have 10 cards in hand, so it's not like... It's not like we're doing great. They have a lot of cards. I'll do what must be done. Hmm. Let's deny that. That's two triggers for Ezreal. And now, you know, like, I've, I was planning on playing Trindamir, but now I think I just play uh, this thing and Frostbite, the six power creature. So do I play Trindamir pre-combat? The reason not to is Yone. Yone would punish me for, for doing that. Have three Yones. It's a tough call. It is a tough call. My blade grows restless. Well, Trinomir's blade grows restless, so let's do it. No, they did have a Yone. Darn it. Now we don't get to kill Karma or Ezreal. The good news is it did force them, you know, forcing them to play the Yone means they didn't play anything else. And so therefore now they have 10 cards, so this card gets burned. So that's good. It's just to get excited getting burned. That's the, the good news, I suppose. Bad news is they are very close to... Only I can quell the wind. They have the third Yone. Very close to just killing me with the Zezreal. I'm so good, I surprised myself! Hmm. 
Plus four, plus zero in quick attack. Dang, I should've just put the should just put the Shadow Assassin in front of that. Just didn't really think about that even being a card. Dang. Yeah, I mean GG's. Unfortunately, they had the second Yone, and then they have the third Yone, and I, and I died. I mean, all three of them, that was a killer, but the just the second one, like, you know, like, those Yones really made the difference. But that was even with us starting so bad, and, you know, having such a poor start, and them having such a good start. We were still that close. Draven Ezreal. Ezreal is so popular. Hmm. Omenhawk. Omenhawk. Yeah. A little late, that's okay. A little birdie. We'll take that. I think I recall I gotcha. playing Omenhawk last turn. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. That was pretty fun. Let's do it again. I'll just save the life. You know, like, we have, like, this avalanche and everything, too. Um, they could have another Conspirator. Or, sorry, we could draw another Conspirator, and that would be sad. But there's only one other Conspirator in the deck. and clear. Ooh. This is a combo. Jewel Protector Braum. Now, do I, so do I do Jewel Protector right now or the Hearth Guard? It's a tough call. Tough call. We're going to go Hearth Guard. strength is yours! Stand and defend. This is our homeland. That's still a two for one. We'll take the blade's edge and the chump one. Perfectly fine trade. What's up, Storm? Good evening. Storm's here. Happy Sunday. How you feeling?
better? Nice. Nice. No, I have not done any more yoga since the other day. I also, besides the yoga, did a leg, you know, leg workout. And then yesterday, and so yesterday I was real sore, especially from the, mostly from the leg workout. Um, and so I, I did, I, uh, did some, did a little bit of, of running. Um, you know, you know, some jogging with, with Pup, took Pup out and we did some jogging. Uh, you know, around the block. And then, to, but today I didn't do any exercising, so I kind of feel bad about that. Um, I'll put, planning on doing some after the stream. But I did assemble a new lawnmower, so I, I need to get a lawnmower for the house here. I just, you know, kind of did, you know, looked at the finances and everything and kind of determined that getting a, a lawnmower was better price-wise than paying somebody else to mow the yard. So. Oh, say light, daylight savings time happened last night for you? So you lost an hour? Yeah, it's always rough losing that time. All I'm doing is turning on Static Shock. But I think it's worth it. Just keep my... Uh, keep my life total high. I'm going to keep on playing huge creatures, you know? Like, they have to keep using a whole lot of resources on my, my stuff. And, of course, we get to draw a card with the Sentry dying. Oh, just a Blade's Edge. So we're at... I could bounce my Jewel Protector. Let's see, Ezreal's at 3 out of 8. The problem with bouncing Jewel Protector is I don't get to double spell with these this turn. But the good part about bouncing Jewel Protector is putting, you know, giving the Life Blade a plus 3, plus 3. That sounds pretty awesome. Making this thing a 6-6. Six, six. Their deck's all damage-based. Everything's damage-based in their deck. They don't have... Oh, they have Noxian Guillotine, though, don't they? Oh, I haven't... I didn't really think of Noxian Guillotine whenever I was... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Noxian... Because Noxian Guillotine they can kill big things with. How do they kill Trendomir? How do they even do that? That answer just no, like they can't. Maybe I should have pumped up Trindomir the first time instead of Braum anyway. What do they even do about this thing? I don't know. I'll play it. For the thrill of battle. Oh, the thrill of battle. It's like he almost forgot what the thrill was. For the thrill of battle. Dang, that's a pretty epic picture, though. Do not die for your cause. Live for it. Let the games begin. All these people have, like, these bow and arrows pointed right at them, and... Probably gonna take them all out. Death itself can't stop me. Wait, who'd he say? What was that? To battle. Live to fight. My blade calls. Ah, death. 
death itself can't stop me. That's pretty sweet. It's pretty epic. Got an axe with your name on it. <laughs> or death in your case, Todd. Sorry, I was talking and and then it started saying that I didn't hear the first part because I was talking. You. There's the Noxium Guillotine. That's me when I'm driving in like a school zone or something. I don't know. I was trying to think of like where there's yield signs. I'll never yield. <laughs> He's got all those arrows in him now. Dude, that was an epic. That was pretty epic. Like that first picture to this. <laughs> Check me out. Uh, Time for no one likes you, Ezreal. Was that worse than just playing this thing, than playing Life Blade? I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do. Maybe that was worse because they can they can spinning axe. I guess I didn't really consider. Yeah, because they they spinning axe this and then give it plus one. No, it just doesn't matter. Am I just dead? Firing. Step I only got three mana. For now, but I have to untap and then actually attack them and kill them with attacks. They can just, you know, play enough spells to kill me, probably. If only Ezreal wasn't broken. Looks like we're going to be 3 and 2 here, but definitely felt really good about this deck for like the 3 2. You know, like both losses are just against Ezreal, where they had a whole lot of, you know, just they just had like the good Ezreal hand, a whole bunch of interaction, and then drop Ezreal and do a lot of damage and just kill you. Not necessarily acting like I'm dead. Hmm. No, I guess I'm dead. So that's seven. So that's five. That's three. They should have done that right now. They should have used one of these spinning axes right now. Dealt one damage to me with this Ezreal, by the way. They could have. Do not stand in my way. That would have put me down to. That would help. Like, basically, they could have used the spinning axe to do three damage right there. Which would have put me down to four. Then the other one puts me down to two. Then all they need all they need is one of these three cards to be a spell to kill me. Now they need two of these three to be spells to kill me. Or, obviously, one of them just be a direct damage spell. But all they needed was one spell, which, which they just showed they had a spell. So, yeah, and that's a spell. So, they... They definitely should have won. If if we win this, we should not have because they they had lethal. If we win this, but it does not look like it. So we'll see. Oh yeah, it's definitely not. All right, so they just had 
very easy lethal no matter what, so. Sure. No way. Wrong. All right, but there we go. So there's our Braum mid-range deck. This is my favorite version of Braum, and I think that the deck uh, really did play well. Um, sure, we lost to Ezreal twice. Uh, we did beat Ezreal in other times. You know, we just went one and two against Ezreal. Um, Ezreal's the the best champion in the game right now, and going one two against it, uh, you know, isn't isn't the worst. Um, you know, both our losses were the, like when they had like very early Ezreal out and everything um but yeah like i like this deck i think the conspirator played pretty well there was like the one game where i was worried about us not being able to play it but we did draw the omen hawk for it but it did i think it played very well i think it played better than what green glade duo would play so i, I think the conspirator was good um but yeah there we go this is um yeah my favorite brom deck and even though that we went 3-2, it felt like that we were kind of unlucky to go 3-2 in this. But um, our deck felt very powerful. And that's not always the case with Braum decks. So if you like Braum and uh, want to play some Braum, give this deck a try. This is a, this is a good deck. All right, there's our first deck of the day, Braum Midrange. Those of y'all watching on YouTube also hit that like button over there and please leave a comment. Let me know if you if you do try this deck out, let me know in the comments how it's going for you, what you like, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, feel free to comment on those games that we're just playing. And uh, there we go. All right, so thank you so much for watching some Braum Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.